Hello. Uh, we have a game. <clears throat> against the old Skaven. Okay, pretty close in TV. Unfortunately, we're the one that's like a couple things up, so they may uh, get some stuff. What have we got? Two extra movement gutters. Wow. Nice. Well, this team is all about the gusher runners. There's not a lot else going on here, uh, but gusher runners are great, so his record is very good. Alright, so this could be a tough one, um, because we don't have... I got dodge instead of tackle, uh, so we don't have any skills to take these guys down, so they're going to kind of run rampant on us. But we'll do what we can. Yeah, interesting, uh, interesting level ups. And unfortunately, he's going to grab a babe as well, so it's going to be harder to keep him out of the game. We did just grab a witch, which is nice. So, you know. Uh, which gives us an extra player. I don't know if they have an extra player or not. <clears throat> but we'll see soon. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of this is going to come down to uh, how well things go on the old removal front. If uh, if the arm value 7 holds up better than the arm value 8. Traditionally... <laughs> Traditionally, I suppose we should say it doesn't, but you always get that feeling like it kind of does. Might even do some blocks with some gut runners. Because you don't necessarily mind them. When the team has no tackle like we do, you don't necessarily mind them being a base contact. Um, We will defend. I think. Yeah. I mean, we've done it now, so. So, let's get our front line. We do have a wrestler, which is actually pretty good against the gutters, come to think of it. So, we do have that going for us. Uh, let's see. How many linemen do we have? I guess we'll just go... Do we go traditional, or do we go a little wider? I think we go a little wider. Um, this feels weird. I think we're just going to pull it in one. I'm still going to keep it like this, though. I'd hate, I mean, it's it's very unlikely, but I'd hate for him to get his guard in on this guy, and then blitz him and kill him in the first turn. That would be really up, up, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how they, let's see how they approach this. Let's see if they try and score a lot, if they try and play the waiting game. This game would have a lot of options in that sense, especially with two movement, uh, ten guys. Doesn't have any subs, so anything we can wear down is a bonus. But we are giving him first chance to knock some guys over. So, you know. We'll see. No thrower either. Just storm vermin, gutter runners, and linemen. Which I think is fine. I like to take a throw with Skaven. Because I think they actually have some utility and they mean they free up your gutters. But it's... But, oh no. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. So now a lot of our utility for blocking the sidelines is gone. But hey. Tis the way of things. Uh, obviously he, you know, record suggests that they're a good player. So I expect this to be hard. So I could have done with any little advantages that we're, we're going to be given out, but... 
Uh, that that was a bad start. So he was just testing out how far he could get with the ball. So he's not actually going to do this yet. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a bit sad there, but we just got to adjust our thinking. A lot. We got to adjust our thinking a lot. Because we're two people down first turn. Still only have two rerolls. I think that's why, um, despite having an extra person, we have the higher team value. So what's our plan going to be? I think our plan is going to probably be base up the linemen and uh, just hit the linemen basically. Try and wear him down ultimately. You know, if we base the linemen, they're, you know, more likely to struggle. Maybe. You really want the storm vermin making blocks and whatnot, um, rather than linemen, so. We'll see how it goes though. We if we don't get anybody out uh shortly, we're gonna we're gonna have a tough time sort of defending this, which you know, we kind of expected would be a thing, but still, I don't think he's gonna reroll that. He's not in a hurry. Ooh, I like where that dropped though. That makes me want to send somebody through just in case. Alright, so, I think that's what we do. I think we go, uh, let's see. Here? And here. Very nice. Follow. Just a stun, just a stun. I prefer KOs if I'm being honest. And then we stand up some linemen. And by stand up some linemen I mean put guys on the linemen to try and hit. Now he can bring guard in to help with this, in fairness. But it's how much does he want to commit to that? Uh, yeah, I will put this guy through here. And I will put this guy here. I mean, if he's going to run past us, he's going to run past us. Let's at least put some pressure on him. Eh? We technically have one guy that can't score, but one guy that could score if something goes wrong. So... Uh, there's an argument for blitzing this guy. See, so it's popping the guard so he can do the blit the blocks here, which is uh, makes sense. Well, he can do. Let's see. Can he do both blocks? He, I think he'd have to commit somebody else as well, because he can block this guy. Well, he could technically block this guy and this guy. The slight scary thing for him here is that, obviously, this is a bit vulnerable. So, he doesn't want his turn to end before he's got the ball safe, because the ball is not currently safe. That's why he's picking it up now. Before making blocks. I think he's just going to sit here, probably bring this guy in, maybe? No, he's passing. Okay. I guess just for SPP, maybe? Yeah, see, that's... you can't do that. you got to do this. Hey, Victoire, how's it going? Played any more games?
So yeah, he'll have to bring he'll have to bring somebody else in because this is still just a one dice because his guard's over here. Or he could blitz. I wonder if he's going to blitz our uh, blodge. Yeah, he is. So that leaves us a bit vulnerable. So he's going to do this first, just in case things go wrong. I mean, this is still vulnerable. If something goes wrong, we could dodge around, so he, he could arguably use some protection. Okay, he's moving that guy. So he's definitely looking to clear off the front here. Unfortunately, he didn't get a multiplayer game yet, so I did some Eternal League. Okay, nice. Just stay where he is there. Coming through here. Why do they always get the knockdown against Blodge? Oof, and the armor break. Okay, just a stun this time, but... Aye, aye, aye. Okay, so far going very well for the Skaven. Unfortunately. Uh, we can't do that as of right now. I do want this guy back, so I think I'm just going to pop him here. And I think I'm actually going to... I don't think he's going to advance like a normal team because he doesn't have to. He's Skaven. So I think I'm just going to blitz the uh, Storm Vermin. Getting them out would actually be very useful because they're his main utility pieces. Um, We'll pop him here. And I'm actually going to go here. I don't want this guy too far on the side in case, uh, in case we need to do something with him. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? I think I'm actually just going to do this. He can knock him down, for sure. But, he's trying to keep a presence here for the moment. Uh, so let's see. Uh, you went for mixed team, good people society. Humans, Bretonians, Amazons, and Kislev. Seems like it's got a lot of good choices. I mean, depending on what you can take from each, of course. Because all of those teams have some very good players, but obviously you can't just take the best from everyone. I say obviously, I don't think you can if I remember. Alright, so we're getting the switcheroo here. I mean, he's got a lot of half to sort of whittle away here. I'm not averse to cage diving on him. Uh, if we get a chance, because uh, he is strength two, so we do get a two dice if we if we cage dive with our edgy five. I mean, if he keeps breaking our armor, though, it is going to be tough. He's lift catcher. That's good. Forms and blitzers. Very good. Two blockers. Um, is that um, Bretonian blockers? Uh, an ogre and three Brett Lyman. Actually, that's pretty good. That seems pretty solid. Bretonian blockers. Yeah, I like them because they get the strength skills as well. So you got a lot of potential strength skills. And a little bit of agility from that Kissel of Catcher to just be able to dive where you need to. Yeah, we're having our usual problem here against Skaven, where we we need to make inroads into their armor, and we can't. Um, I wish I had the Witch. But we're not going to, uh, we're not going to get too down on that. I 
I mean, things could go wrong for him. He, like, I assume he's probably going to dodge this guy away rather than one dice. He could do a bad, a bad dodge and hurt himself. It happens all the time. Oh, is he is going to do the one dice. Hang on, is he? Is he going to one dice this guy? Ooh. I mean, that kind of gives us... We have to kind of commit to it, but that kind of gives us a um, surf there. Is it worth it? I think so. to get another assist in there as well which is pulling us away from the other side but if we were to actually do him in it would be quite nice we're just not, not going to get it now are we no there we go uh we'll just stay well that's pretty okay so let's re situate I'm actually going to base up some of these guys, even though they can knock us down pretty easy. Uh, where do we want you? I think we just want you lurking. I guess we'll make him roll some dice of some kind. Okay, that's not really what we wanted. If I push him here, he could surface back. So we are going to... Oh, maybe he could anyway. Hmm. He might be able to surface here. No. No, he can't. I don't think anyway. <laughs> I think we're covered enough on this side. Did gain quite a lot of levels with it. Nice. Yeah, it kind of seems like a fun... fun potential format. Uh, to do like an actual... like a... multiplayer league that way. I don't know how... I'm assuming that the... Uh, the multiplayer... because I know they have a multiplayer league for that. On, uh, on Blood Bowl 2, but I don't know how active it is. And I think it's just sort of run as a casual thing, right? It'd be, it would be kind of fun to do it as a... Uh, as a competitive thing. Maybe not on the regular, but... Yeah, we could have got the Surf on the Blitzer there, and that could have... I mean, you know, getting an injury on this guy would be would be very sweet. Let's see what we've got going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm, eight, nine. That's not really going to work. Yes, yeah, it's a problem with Skaven. They just kind of run around you and, uh, There's, there's only so much you can, unless you start getting some damage on them. There's only so much you can really affect their uh, their day. I guess we could start going after gutter runners. In the hopes that that works. He got a babe, right? Yeah, he did. 
was wandering about trying to knock knock a guy down and foul him, but no guarantee these guys come back. Come on, game. Give us a skull or something. Give, give us something to be happy about. I think we deserve that. <laughs> uh, Alright, so you can go there. Uh, you can... Uh, come here. You can go here. I'm just going to keep sort of hitting them for the moment. Because we can't really do a whole lot about what's happening up here. I'm going to move up into a more aggressive position. Can't get to him right now, but maybe in time such things will be allowed. Uh, there we go. You can go... I guess we'll do this, actually. Need to start making some breakages here. Okay. Okay. That's a break. And he's obviously not going to be using his uh, app or anything on stuff like that. Oof. Nothing. Oh, that I'm value seven. Uh, not bad, thanks. Not bad. We've had a really good run with this team, uh, first three games, but <clears throat> we've come across the inevitable scathe and doom of not wanting to get armor broken. And and this one started off pretty bad with the with the witch getting hit with the stone instantly and just getting KO'd. So we were a person down uh, before the game started, which is kind of why I don't like kickoff results. If I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, we we kind of need to make some inroads if we want to make the second half a bit more promising. Because right now it's it's looking a little bleak in some senses, you know, with the two movement 10 guys. Obviously that's very... <clears throat> oh, hang on, are they both... Oh, I just realized they're both movement 10 sprints, so he's got two natural one turners. With blodge. Uh, so that's pretty disgusting. So even if we uh, do score to make it 1-1, uh, that is, uh, you know, potentially a problem. That was a tiny bit risky there. Where are you going to go? Oh, I've got to reroll out of him, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. So I'm just trying to think through, um, trying to make this blitz, but it's not likely to work. I guess we could try and force him into the corner. enough to help out there. So we could do 50%, 50%, two dice against to try and knock him off, but that's not that great. I think we can all agree on that. So I think we're just going to attempt a blitz. Try and kind of pen him in here. I 
as best we can anyway. We can kind of make things at least a little bit awkward, I think. See kind of how he reacts to it, because he's still got a few turns here. Oh, I couldn't even knock that guy over. Rats. I will follow that. Okay. So, you know... We just got to sort of pressure him and not make this comfortable. And I think this is uh, doing that. He can get this guy down here to help with these guys, for sure. But this guy is out of position to help over here. But we can't just let him sit in the corner all half. You know, and if something goes kind of wrong, then, um, you know, suddenly he's in a bit of a dodgy position. Like, if he failed something before these guys moved, then we push this guy here, and then we uh, surf this guy. That's a nice start, right from the off. Or, theoretically, we push this guy here, and then dodge around and blitz this guy here, but I sh assume we'd move this guy, but he's got to at least think about what's going on here. Okay, so what's the plan here? Oh! Scoring! Oh, I didn't expect that. I really didn't. <laughs> I was so obsessed with trying to work out how he was going to stall out, I didn't even consider that he might try and score. Ooh, okay, that's a nice swing, though. We've got three turns to score, and we are elves, so it's possible. Okay, okay, that was interesting. Alright, so we're going to get you back to try and grab the ball. I think I'm going to keep the witch. You know what? I'm actually going to use the witch back. Um, that gives us our full blitzer complement. Gotta be careful for um, unfortunate kickoff results. Uh, I guess we do this actually. Let's see, how do we feel about that? I guess that's as good as we're gonna do. Let's see what happens. He's given us a shot. I just noticed, I don't know if the lack of the N on down is like some kind of play on words. Oh, okay. That's not great. Because that means we're on a 3 plus pickup and handoffs the 3 plus. So that's kind of worked out a little better for them. Excellent. That's why we used you first. Okay, that's not so excellent, but we have wrestle. So let's get those out of the way early. Uh, let's see. So the problem here is that he's got a lot of danger for us in terms of... Uh, oh, I like that. In 
in terms of way to slip through and get at the ball. So we need to be as cognizant of that as we can be. Oh, maybe I pick up with this guy and come up to here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Or attempt to do. Yeah, see, they've got easy ways through. Uh, we're going to present ourselves with some opportunities, or try to. Let's see if he can actually do this. Okay, so we did that bit. Nice. I'm just going to follow that up to tie him up. Ooh, nice. Very nice. And let's see. I feel like I need to defend this a little bit. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, so what are we seeing? I, sh I presume he's not going to try and dive this too. Oh, maybe. Well, let's see. Maybe he's going to try and dive it. I mean, I knew that was a little open. That's why I put the witch here. Okay, he's going for it. I don't mind this necessarily, though, unless he gets hold of it. <laughs> the reason I don't mind it is because all the gutters will be behind us. Is he just one No, he's gonna... So he's gonna two dice it, but that means a lot of his gut runners are in on this. And he's gonna have to hit it from this direction, which means at best he's hitting it here. Oh, he's using all the gutters. Okay. This is a big commitment here. Yeah, and that's a long way around. Okay, he's just kind of going all in on this. Well, that's the easy one, so he should be fine. Reroll used. He'll reroll that, seeing as he's got all this into place. Got the wrestle. Okay. That's good for us. Uh, this could still go horribly wrong, obviously. But I'm going to play for the moment as if it's not going to go horribly wrong. Hmm. So I think we just have to stand this guy up, unfortunately. I was going to use him, dodge out, and then maybe pass it off. But I don't like the fact that he has to pass rather than just a straight up handoff. Nice. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. I guess you can stay. That was a lot of noise. So I'm really trying to think about how best to do this. You can't get through very easily. Could you have got... No, you still couldn't have got through. So I think we're going to do this. For a sort of better safe than sorry scenario, because we could very easily drop this ball here. Okay, that's really good. We need another one of those. That's nice as well. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. It pushes him further away, which I'm okay with. Uh, we've got two rerolls, two turns, so we'll give this a go. Nice. Okay, didn't garner us anything, but didn't cost us anything. Yeah, I see. I mean, I guess... Oh boy, if this works. <laughs> but I, I don't think I'd have committed all four gut runners through. I don't think this guy was necessary. I think I would have saved him either in case it worked or in case it didn't work and we needed them back there. I guess he's not going to be able to get the ball out and score, at least. If he does get the ball out... Um, it will just be out. He doesn't have another turn left. Because I believe this is the only guy that can possibly reach. So that guy being there doesn't necessarily impact anything, I don't think. Oh boy, he might make this. He made the 4 plus without a reroll. Okay, he didn't. Nice. That is a relief. I mean, he still have to roll a 6 when he hit us, but still. Uh, let's see. I think we have to try. Just in case. Oh, this is- that angle is just horrible. Nice. Okay, we didn't get anything from it, but like, we could have done, and that could have been huge. Maybe I could have actually... Maybe there was a chain push in there so I could get two of them into contact, but... The fact we're going in 1-1 one, one is really good for the second half. Um, it's not, obviously with the two one-turners, it's not winning. Uh, and obviously he can try and steal the ball from us. Oh, and he got his two KOs back. So we're back up to, I think, 11 versus... He is on 10. Oh, it's still raining. Well, it's probably still raining. Uh, so now, seeing as we're not in as much of a hurry, I'm going to pop my Blitzer in here. 
I'm going to keep one of them out there in case of emergencies. And we use them as blitzing instead, in theory. If we should get the chance. But yeah, I think I think going for the blitz was fine, but I think I'd have tried the one dice. Or you could have done the two dice uh, the way he did it anyway. He didn't... I don't think he was in... He didn't have to be in contact with that guy that he based up. But. Oh, he gets an extra reroll? That's bad, because that means he can really try stuff. Ooh, catching that would have been nice. Alright, so we're actually not going to try and advance this turn. We're going to try and, um... Somewhat just secure the ball. Just in case. This is this is Skaven after all. Okay, disappointing. Better. Uh what should we do? We will just leave you here, I think. Five, six. No, I can't reach that. I guess I can try this one first. Hmm. So we follow that and then we blitz that guy. Okay. Keep him in contact. So no dice this turn. Move up there. make it a little bit awkward for him and let's see if we can grab this ball or not we can excellent and we'll see how aggressive he is leaving two guys back here in our agility guy means that even if he's like first turn aggressive again uh we do have some reinforcements i think that's the thing about that turn seven or eight as well was that we we made it so it was awkward to get around there, so, I mean, obviously it's hard to stop their movement entirely, but we made it so that, uh, even if he did, it was going to be tricky to recover. Let's see if he can immediately get that armor value 7 over 8 thing going again. No? Not yet? Okay. We're certainly not in a hurry at this point. And we're going to see if he tries to dodge these rats out or if he's just going to sit tight. The other the other thing you could argue for is to try and base us up some. Make us roll some blocks. We've only got two rerolls. And it makes our caging harder as well. Uh, the downside is if you start if we start getting armor breaks, that can backfire. So we'll see how he wants to play this. I would actually be kind of a bit scared if he did do that, to be honest. Hey Quack! How's it going? Uh, this is going better since we scored first half as well. I was I was kind of worried about how we were going to stay in the game, but they scored a little early and gave us a chance to score. Overcommitted with their gutter runners trying to blitz the ball out and we were able to get in fairly reasonably. So, definitely feeling better about the game. Um, he's got a lot of gutter runners, so I can't say that I'm feeling crazy, crazy confident, but... You know, as much as you can, at least. I think we're going to go for the old uh, wrestle here. Nice. Uh, okay, that wouldn't have armor broken any of them. I was just checking to see if it would have done. I think I'm going to make a little move up here. Uh, that's too far. That's okay.
Try and get the witch in position. Yeah, do you see those skills on those guys? Ridiculous. Very, very hard to uh, stop the one turner potentially. So that's why that's why it was such a relief when we scored. This is quite an aggressive maneuver here. Let's see, where might they come in? I think overall I'm okay with it. Let's see if this guy will move. He will... Mm, is this too open? Maybe, I don't think it is, but we'll see. Guard line rats, crazy start. It's almost not worth playing defense with this rat team. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're 6 one, one if I remember from their record. I, like, I was, like, trying to... That's ultimately what I was saying, like, where I got to. Uh, in the end, they kind of corner camped um, to stall out for the half, and I just brought in and based all their linemen and whatnot, and they decided to score with a couple turns left. I honestly thought they should have been able to stall out. I think they went into the corner too fast. Um, I don't know. It's tricky. But yeah, just knowing how... Uh, you can use your free reroll on that. Just knowing how potent they, you know, how likely they are to score a one-turner. Oof. Um, okay, so that puts us even, because we've, we've not, as per usual, we've not had the best of armor breaks on these guys. We did get a couple KOs in the first half, but they did just come back. Yeah, I, this is a team I would love to be playing as. Obviously, at some point, these guys will die horribly if he doesn't get more subs, but... The problem is, uh, it's not it's not going to be us that's killing them, because we, we have no tackle or mighty blow. But once they come up against some... I don't know, Chaos Dwarfs or something? If he doesn't have players to hide these guys behind. That's the one thing I would say, is that... I might have been tempted to just give one of them, um like sure feet and just leave them on the bench instead of block but I mean obviously this is a very nasty combo as well okay so he's definitely giving us some stuff to think about here uh, I think we're just going to retreat. Back to here. Um, we'll drop the witch into here. Boy, this is very hard to defend when you know what they've got going on. Yeah, sure, we'll drop her back there, for the moment. Then we've got a block or two we can do. We can do this one. Nice. Uh, we stay for the assist. Uh, where are we gonna be blitzing? Good blitz in here. Okay, that's kind of what we expected. And then we just come in here. Try and get as many hits as we can, see if we can... Get some pressure going on these guys, get some of them off the field. 
at some point you just got to hope that it kind of kicks in. Uh, do we need to? Yeah, we need to follow that one. That's not happening. That guard guy would be very handy to get out. Uh, I think we do the sensible thing and drop you in here. Ooh, okay, that is actually probably reroll worthy. Because if we go down, yeah, I think that's reroll worthy. I mean, it's going to happen at some point. This is why I think the basing up is a good plan on his on his part. Yeah, I was kind of hoping we got to just hope for some pairs somewhere. I don't like using the reroll so early. But he could have potentially knocked this guy down and this guy down and then suddenly he's in. And he, you know, one slip up and we're in big trouble. We really need to ideally remove some of these guys. Getting the guard right out would have been excellent. Even stunning him would have really helped. Okay. It's done, it is. Be bear. How's it going? Have to hope I... Yeah, you've just got to play that long game of, you know, it'll it'll break more. Uh, and just hope that we can kind of hold on for that. We are... Right now we're on even players. Um, but we had a number of blocks on him that turn with no, no results, unfortunately. So we're a little bit scared. He's playing cagey with the guys. He's not brought them forwards yet. I think I'd have at least one hovering. Although I'll admit they've got a lot of range. But if you don't have to use a ton of GFIs, all the better if you if you get a block in. And plus it means that so far we've been able to kind of leave like uh, effectively screen rather than cage. Which means we have more players to be able to use out in the field. Okay, this looks this looks interesting. That said, he might be a little bit uh, shy of doing that after the first half, where we, woo, um, where he committed too many gutters down and then got bitten by us running through. Oh dear! Right now, I'm a value seven, better than I'm a value eight. Maybe it'll change around. A nice failed dodge into an injury <laughs> wouldn't hurt either. Okay, so they're coming in. Getting aggressive. Hmm. Tying up all our players makes sense. I'm wondering if I can get back up here, but I don't know if I can with enough people to make it worthwhile. Oh, he gets this. Yeah, I didn't realize he had another block there as well. Okay, so we're a little surrounded. I think maybe a retreat to this area is what we might be looking at as a temporary measure. Oh, I don't want to, though, because it means we can't block these guys. It means we're doing dodges instead, which... Hmm. Okay, that gives me a lot to think about. Okay, so we could get up to here, make one of those a blitz. Alright, so I think we see what happens. Mm. Oh, that's right, this doesn't, this doesn't, none of this works. Mm, good positioning, good positioning. Uh, 
uh, stay. Hmm, disappointing. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, stay. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're 611. So, we bring this guy to... Here. I guess a push will do. Get some out of the way at least. Then we bring her to here. To here. Oh boy. Hmm, maybe it should have been... Okay, I think we might be in trouble now. I think we need to go one more. That was my bad. I don't think we can afford to. Okay, this is pretty bad. That, honestly, that might help him there. Let's just go with it. Oh boy, this is... It's so hard to get safe against this team, especially when we had two, uh, two stuns. So I think he can work this. I mean, I know he can work it, it's just gonna be, does it, does it work out? Yeah, 6-1-1 for them. Let's see how he plays this. I think at this point, there's a good call for, uh... Well, let's, let's, let's talk about things when it seems more viable. We may not have the ball, so... Let's not, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. That was nice. So, he definitely got the reach to get a, get a hit on the witch here. And he's... Nah, he doesn't have to use the wrestle guy now either, which makes that a bit easier. I mean, that helps because he has to go backwards. He might have had to go backwards anyway. Oh, that this movement is just so hard to deal with. Dodge and cage with the three at the top. Yeah, you're probably right. I probably should have played it safer. And I think, honestly, I think I didn't make the best use of the... I was kind of planning before that and not remembering the guard there, so I kind of planned to knock one down, blitz the other one out, and then have more guys down here. Uh, and then, you know, I was just forgetting what was going on with the guard. How are you getting out? Now, first half, he committed, like, all of his gutters to provide assists. Is he going to do that again? Okay, he's doing them one at a time, which I understand. Trying to maximize what you get out of it. So, in comes the Blitz. Okay, if he pushes that way, I do like that. Oh boy, okay, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, reroll. Okay, that, that works for him. The, having one guy down is, is something. Okay, I don't mind that positioning. He does have this guy free still. But it's only in, it's only going to be in one tackle zone. Uh, that's not necessarily true. He might try and work something here. Bring them down to the witch. Yeah, that's what I should have done. 
Oh, this is... Okay. The old last minute. Just click on everything and it work. Oh, that's so Skaven. Oh, it's so painful when they do that. Okay, we technically have a potential jump up there. But I can't get... Well, I could get rid of that. Hang on, could I surf him? Ooh, in theory I could. Okay, so we do this. To cancel that assist. I mean, it would depend on if that works. If it doesn't work, that sucks. And the problem is that this is the guy I'd want to make the blitz if the jump up fails. Because of Wrestle. That said, I don't think we have a lot of choice here. I mean, without dodging this guy out, but we might need this guy to try and retrieve a ball. Okay, we gotta try it. We got the jump up. We got the ball free. That works as well. Uh, hmm. I think we want to go here. We do not want that ball going off the field and ending up somewhere we don't want it. Okay, nice. Alright, now let's have a little reassess here. This guy is available. He could get here. Alright. Oh, we haven't blitzed yet. Oh dear, I forgot about that. I mean, that's good, but... Uh, does that mean we blitz this guy and then try and grab the ball? Or do we, like, blitz here and try and get this guy into here? I think we... Uh, I think we try and get the ball first. Okay, we've got the ball. We move it. We do that. Follow. See if we get this or not. We don't. But you know what? I mean... This could definitely be a worse situation here. And I think I'm just going to leave this guy here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this guy's hard to take down. Uh, you really want the wrestle guy to do it. It's not that he can't do it, but... I don't think he can get an assist up here, so he's got to dodge out for a one dice. So it's a three plus, six plus, which is not likely to work. Now, he could try and get these guys up here, in fairness. It's three, three, two... So yeah, he could maybe try and use these guys, but the wrestle guy's out of range, which is arguably the main thing. The problem is, I don't think I can stall this out. Which means we're kind of looking like probably a draw. Um... I mean, even if we stall it out, he's got two natural one-turners, so there's arguably not really a reason to stall out. We're almost better... ...scoring and letting him score. Or giving ourselves a chance to stop him scoring, because obviously with the one-turn, it, it's just... they just score, right? Okay, so he is going to get assists in there, so let's not talk about scoring yet. Could have stood to the square to the right after blitzing, make the dodge harder. Like, uh, go here. I think, I thought that was a GFI, but maybe it wasn't. I mean, maybe there's still a, a good call to do it. Uh, 
Oh, man. Okay. The bull's back in action. Okay, I don't... Okay, where's he gonna go? Maybe here? I think he goes here. He's got the movement to get here. Okay, he goes there. Is he... I assume he's gonna come and try and get it as well. I mean, any of these dodges could fail. Aye, aye, aye. Okay. So we're back to this old situation. Yeah, I think it might have been a GFI. Holy Skaven! Aye, aye, aye. I mean, you can't do anything about that. There's only so much contingency you can put in place for that. Okay, so my ideals would have been, uh... Hmm, okay. I mean, I think ultimately we're looking at this guy coming and doing a two dice. Um, and just, I'm just working out what we do outside of that. I think you just get up and you've got a block there. I think maybe you come up here? Because we're still on a, a one there and it helps kind of block off the middle. I think that's the first thing we do. Uh, let's see. We will pop you... where you're at. I'm actually going to follow that one, make it harder for him to block when he gets up. And then I think we're on attempting this block. Uh, I'm just trying to work out. I think the witch elf has to come around. Because uh, if he gets away here, then he could just go up to that side. Obviously, we've got people on this side, but we're a little light over here. I don't see a better way to go about this. I mean, you could argue... No, I don't have the movement for that. I think we just try and take the clean block here. Okay. Okay. Everybody's rolling powers this game. So that'd be a 3 plus, 2 plus to pick up. Uh, where do we get you that's helpful? Here? Hang on. What? Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Where I can't get safe. Oh no. Okay, we can do it too. Okay, we're stopping there. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but I don't want to get... Um, I don't want the ball to go off the pitch and end up down here. <clears throat> Ay ay ay. So you know what? Their turn. I mean, their turn was really atrocious because they did it with so many rats. But our turn was slightly atrocious. We're fighting fire with fire when it comes to powers and dodges. Uh, obviously, this is a pretty easy two dice. I say that. You've got to commit some guys in here, I guess. Or, if you want to be brave, you could take the one dice. Okay. So he's going to... Yeah, he's just going to do this first. So he's going to dodge out and blitz. 
And with the wrestle, it's fairly good chance of a takedown. There we go. Honestly, I quite like that guy to catch it. Ooh, hello. I mean, that's uh, pretty gettable, to be honest. And not only is it gettable, but he has a built-in cage, which is quite nice. Oh, last reroll used. Gotta use it. You can't run the risk that it drops out and then comes over here. Now, do you stay there? I don't even know what to do at this stage. <laughs> this is this is tense. Is he gonna one dice this? I don't think I would. Hey, it worked. Uh, reason being, it free it would potentially free this guy up. But you know, if you're gonna get an armor break, then it looks pretty pretty solid. Ah, <sighs> okay. So there's no kind of shenanigans that we can pull here to get a, a Surf, unfortunately. I think the best we can do is two dice into that. I think we just get you up. I think we do this two dice. Oh, that's disappointing. Don't think I can re-roll it, though. I'm looking at the clock. He can definitely technically score, but it's getting tricky, right? He's got two turns. Okay, so here's what we do. We do this, we leave the witch as like a failsafe. In case they get out. Oh dear. Oh, that's not so great. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, so he's not really very trapped in here, but he's slightly trapped. This is such a weird situation, I don't even know what to do with it. Like, we've got a plus agi guy hanging around, like, we've got a lot of pressure near the end zone. They've- we've got one turn to score, so if we don't get it off them this turn, we don't score. Um, but they have two turns to score. He can technically do it with some heavy movement. But does he have the rats to do that? And we have this guy here, who is a potential- and theoretically the witch to help stop him if he does. So, I don't even know. I mean, I don't know if he feels like he's got a clear plan, but I think if I was him, I'm not sure quite what I'd be planning. You could argue maybe dodge one down, down here. Okay, down goes. Don't you do it. Don't you armor break us again. Okay. Oh, the, the powers. 
So many pets. I mean, Lodge has not done anything all game. Okay, so now what's the plan? What is the plan here? Oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. Appoing him doesn't matter because he's stunned. I mean, ascending off there would have been sweet. Okay, so the plan is he's going for the draw. Fair enough. He doesn't have anybody in scoring position down. Is that the plan? He's not going to try it, is he? I mean, he could technically score, right? Yeah. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, he could score. But he can't now. More importantly... Only we can score. <laughs> that said, we kind of need our agility 5. Okay, I could get a 1 dice on him if I do this. I believe. Because I can bring this guy in here. I mean, at this point, there's no reason not to, I think. I'm not going to move this guy yet. Just on the random happenstance that the ball flies over here, and this is the only guy that can score. So, and I would feel really bad about that. So I think it's this. Yeah, I don't really see any reason not to do it. Okay, we failed our first dodge, that's bad. Failed our second dodge, which we expected. Come on, five. Come on, five. No. Okay. Well, you know what? It was always looking like a draw. Uh, I think even if we had... Even if they hadn't have done that ridiculous turn where they dodged all the guys through and taken us down, um, I think I think it still would have been a draw because we'd have had to go in. Uh, and I don't know, maybe maybe he fails to score because he had a few turns to try and make it happen and it wasn't gonna happen easily. So I think a draw is I think a draw is reasonable. It's just a bit sad, but with with the players they've got. I'll take it. I will take it. But yeah, I think I think if we were bloodthirsty, we'd have made the the block on the guard guy here just to see if we could get like an injury. But the way the blood ball works is we would have knocked the ball loose, it would have bounced off the field, and then like somehow ended up in this corner and he's like literally the only guy that can get there, and then you feel really silly for doing that. When you when you didn't need to like you're pu you're putting like a possible injury over a score so that's why I didn't do that. I think by that logic though, in fairness, no, I think the witch could have come up and got the ball. I was gonna say if it landed down here, we would have regretted moving this guy. But I think the witch could have got up there and made a throw. So now just the vanity pass and we're done. What a crazy game. I mean, I think it was an interesting one, even if it was the the result was boring. We didn't break each other's teams, so there's that. Hey, I'll take that money there, because we need our third reroll. Oh, he leveled up, leveled him up again. Disgusting. Uh, Vavil, who I think got injured there with the MVP. So, yeah, even armor breaks, even, they might have done more blocks. No, we did more blocks, so that definitely, the armor breaks definitely went against us. Um, a, a little bit, you know. Not by a huge amount, because we don't have any Mighty Blow or anything. Yeah. Yeah, crazy game. 
maybe we could have pulled a win, but maybe they could have pulled a win, so... We come out with a, uh, a dull one all draw in the end. And that puts us at three and three wins, one draw. Which I guess is not too, not too bad. Nothing ready to report on the team. Um, I'll grab a reroll next. I still don't know how I feel about having 12 players. But that's what we've got, so. Um, maybe I should just stick with it. Because somebody's going to get injured sooner or later. We can't keep facing rats and... Uh, what did we face last time? Actually, I think it was undead. No, it was Camry. That's right. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to head off and eat some dinner now. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, everybody. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Sorry we couldn't sneak a win in the end. But uh, we, we at least gave it a shot. And uh, we threw everything at it at the end there. I Arguably I could have re-rolled that Blitz the turn before, but I wanted to save the re-roll just in case uh, he went for something on the like you know. There was no, that wasn't even on the ball carrier, so. There's just no, uh, no guarantees of what, what that would have caused. But yeah, I'll uh, catch you later. Uh, see you next time, Dwee Beer. Hopefully it'll be a, a good one. And, uh, we'll see. I'm enjoying these guys again now. I miss Dark Elves. Bye for now.